Hello, this is me, CGD. Um, this is two parts. Uh, the first part is personal identity theft, and the second part will be about um, encryptions and passwords. Um, the first part, HMP Bristol Prison have information uh, on 6 billion people illegally. Um, examples would be um, social security numbers in the countries that have them, um, phone numbers, um, landlines, mobiles that people use, it, um, employment um, information like the history, uh, what jobs they've had, um, uh, what career paths they've followed, um, the sort of stuff that uh, prison officers shouldn't normally access. It's it, the accumulation of all this information um, that helps build up a, a, a portfolio, a profile, and these prison officers use that information to profile people. Um, and when they've got the information they need and uh, they feel they need to uh, secure that information, they use a password or an encryption uh, password to protect it, to lock it down in the event that they should be arrested. Um, one of the reasons why they're doing this is because uh, they believe, or they don't believe they can be arrested, they don't believe that um, a prison officer or prison officers um, nationally or internationally can be brought to justice to do with this product, uh, to do with this uh, product, which is satellites, um, computer databases where the information is stolen from, and other satellites where it's stolen from, um, and utilised the way HMP Brixton Prison and its prison officers use uh, past, present, and future. Um, there's also an issue about cloning. Um, they have the ability to clone. Um, official letters, uh, i.e. in my case, uh, the Prime Minister, uh, the Queen and Prince Charles. Um, they've got all this information, it's, you know, it's secured and locked away, they shouldn't have it. Um, if this was a confidential matter between uh, myself and these people and it shouldn't be um, anywhere near HMP Brixton Prison and its prison officers, past, present and future. Thank you.